Hi, this is Seth David from the world famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated, bringing to you a very special screencast. This is another real estate, QuickBooks for Real Estate tutorial. This time I'm going to show you how to create a rent roll report. It's more of sort of a pseudo rent roll report. I'll show you what I mean. Assuming you have a QuickBooks file already set up and you're already tracking rents and you've got some information in there filled out, then what you want to do very simply is come over to reports and you want to create a customer balance detail report. Now bear in mind the main purpose of a rent roll report is to show you by tenant what their monthly rent is, what their arrears are if they have any back rents owed, how much security deposit they have with you, what the current balance is, and any payments they've made this month, and of course this month's rent. So that said, you're not going to get anything in QuickBooks that looks exactly like a typical rent roll report, which is usually done in Microsoft Excel, but I'm going to show you how you can get as close as you can come, and I'm going to give you sort of the free version of this tip, and then I'll show you where you can go to get the complete inside tip on how to create a rent roll that looks truly like a rent roll. So run this customer balance detail report, and as you'll see, I've got a sample data in here. These are some of my friends, Scott, Martin, and Brian, and myself, and we're all tenants in this building called 123 Burbank Boulevard. Now, the customer balance detail report is a report that's based on accounts receivable. So I like to make sure I leave that account in there showing in the column as a reminder, because if you're wondering why invoices come in as positives and payments come in as negatives, well, first of all, that's how we want to see it. We want to see an invoice increase what the tenant owes us and a payment decrease what the tenant owes us. How does that work in terms of accounting? Because we're running a report here that's based on accounts receivable. Accounts receivable is an asset account. Assets are increased by debits, and they're decreased by credits. So invoices debit accounts receivable. Payments reduce accounts receivable, or they credit accounts receivable. And that brings me to the next part of this tip, which is we want to split this amount column up so that it's more meaningful information. It makes the report a lot nicer to read. So we're going to come over here to Modify Report. And we're going to scroll down on our display choices. And in fact, you can scroll all the way down to the bottom and then click up in the scroll bar. So you sort of page up just one. And that gets you where you need to be. Uncheck the amount, check off debit and credit, and click OK. Now you'll see the report quickly becomes much more meaningful because I can see separately where my invoice charges are and where the payments are. Now this is the very sample company file that I'm using in my real estate accounting with QuickBooks.com website. So you're seeing the real data that I'm using in the actual chapter on creating the rent roll report in the book. And it's a book and a blog which I'll give you the link to at the end of this video. But now that you've got this information, it's much more meaningful. Now this is a report that's run right now for all dates. So because I don't have a whole lot of data and history in here, it looks nice. But the reality is if you have a lot of history and a lot of tenants, it's not going to be practical. So you're probably going to want to set the default to this month. And notice what I do. And let me do that again so you can see how I did that. Over here in the drop down, I change the default and I set it to this month. When I do that, I get a really nice report that shows me the beginning balance going into the month. It shows me my rent charges. And if I had booked any payments, they would be here and they would show up. So let's assume we got Scott Carey's rent today. Let me just quickly book a payment for Scott Carey and let's say he paid the full 2600 that he owes. Save and close and boom there it is. So now you can see how nice this looks because you have your debit for the invoice, you have your credit for the payment, Balance going in was zero. He gets charged 2600 He pays 2600 He zeroes out. This is a report you're going to want to run and memorize in QuickBooks if you're running real estate in QuickBooks so that you can use this to review, especially on the second of the month, so you can see who hasn't paid their rent yet and go out and put up your three-day notices to pay rent or quit. Now, what you'll get when you sign up for the Real Estate Accounting with QuickBooks.com website, which is a subscription-based site, is you'll see how you can take this, what you're seeing here, and convert it to something more like this, which, as you can see, includes all the typical information one would find on a rent roll. Their security deposit, their monthly rent, the square footage, the move-in date. All this information can be set up to show up on this report. I'm not going to give that away for free. If you want that information, simply go to the website at www.realestateaccountingwithquickbooks.com. Once you're here, and this is the shameless promotion part, once you're here, you can sign up 
once you've signed up, you'll have to log in again, and you have complete access to all of the chapters here. Here's Chapter 9 on Rent Roll. I've got about two more chapters to add, one on move-outs and one on move-ins. And at that point, and those will be going off within the next two weeks, probably one a week, and then you will have everything you need right here in order to set up your QuickBooks file and get started doing your accounting for real estate with QuickBooks. And then after that, I'm going to start adding in the chapters on property management, which focuses on the situation where you don't necessarily own the property. You might, but where you're managing other people's properties and how that gets set up in QuickBooks. So if you're interested, if you have any questions, as always, email me, Seth at NerdEnterprises.com. I'm very accessible and more than happy to answer your questions. Otherwise, just visit www.realestateaccountingwithquickbooks.com. It's a long domain, but it just says the whole thing right out there, Real Estate Accounting with Quick books.com will get you to the site of course i'll post the link wherever this video is posted i hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day and i look forward to seeing you on the web